truthfully, I'm covering the BP-50 here again simply because I got this really cool blueprint and you guys can see the inspection right now on the screen. And I mean, yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to make a video, but I also chucked a couple of different attachments onto my build to give it no recoil and a super fast aim down side speed, making this thing even better. So I saw a controversial take on Twitter saying conversion kits are useless. <laughs> And this is my example here that that is a complete lie. There's a lot of really cool conversion kits in aftermarket parts in the game that I think should return in Black Ops 6. Like the ideas that is, they think aftermarket part attachments or conversion kit weapons, I think they need to return. And I would love to hear your opinion of that down in the comment section. So the first attachment is the Jack Revenger kit. We've talked about this a lot on the channel. It virtually turns this thing into an SMG by increasing the mobility, increasing the aim down sight speed, increasing the fire rate at the sacrifice of damage range, which does make sense. You are swapping out for nine millimeter ammo. And I personally think it makes the BP 50 better. I could be wrong about that, but based on my personal play style, I think the Jack Revenger kit actually makes the BP-50 a better weapon. For my rear grip, I have the trs IV grip tape for fire aiming stability, recoil control, and gun kick control to make this thing, well, a no recoil monster. You can still shoot across the map, even with SMG ammo types. This is one of a couple attaches to control recoil. It's gonna be 10% here to the gun kick, 7% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. For an ammunition type, I am going with the high green rounds. We did lose 20% to both bullet velocity and damage range by chucking on the Avenger kit, but guess what? We're gaining back 15% with the high grain rounds. This is the only way to increase the damage range, and this does a fantastic job of doing so. We are sacrificing recoil control, but our next attachment is going to take care of all of that. Our next attachment is the Quartermaster Suppressor. You guys already know the deal with this thing. It's a suppressor, meaning you get to stay off the minimap. And on top of that, look at the recoil values. 11% to the gun kick, 23% to the horizontal recoil control, and 10% to the vertical recoil control. When you take this attachment and the rear grip, combine them together, gives the BP-50 Jack Revenger kit basically no recoil whatsoever, and you can shoot across the map. And for my final attachment, I'm trying out the Kimura RYL-33 laser sight. Normally, I'm not a fan of these, but I wanted to up my ADS to make it as fast as possible, and this attachment really does do that. So we're gaining aim walking steadiness, sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed. You can see it's a massive 13% there, 17% of the sprint to fire, and a little bit of tax stance stuff there. Nothing too crazy that I'm worried about there, but this does bring your ADS to 171 milliseconds, which is on par with a lot of SMGs in this game. Granted, it does have that really flashy laser, so don't really hold the aim down sight, if that makes sense. Don't sit in a quarter and hold the ADS, so you're going to be found out very easily. Use it like an SMG, you know, sprint up on people in that ADS. Don't give yourself away. There's going to be all my attachments on the screen. If you guys wanted to copy this one down, one of my most popular weapons in this entire game as far as personal use and on the channel. A lot of people always enjoy these, and this one is really, really good in my opinion. Here's also the rest of the loadout on the screen if you guys needed to pause to copy this down as well. Make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me as always. Let's jump into today's gameplay where you guys get to see this really cool fishy blueprint live in action. Hope you enjoy. So honestly, I'm making another BP-50 video because of this blueprint. You guys saw the inspect in the firing range in the intro. And I'm happy to bringing, this is what I would consider to be a Mastercraft, right? Like you guys would agree with that. So with them bringing Mastercraft back, I'm hoping they release more like this, at least while the game is still active. You know what I mean? Oh, hold the phone. Of course, there's one guy sitting there, bro. That would have been an insane flank. That would have been a quad feet and a half. Okay, so my team's getting throttled OBJ wise right now. I'm trying my best, but it's hard to find all of them. I mean, I'm doing tricks on it right now. I'm doing tricks on it right now. Thank you, team. Dang. No more UAV, I guess. They don't know I'm here yet because I snuck past their cluster mine thing. Wait, that was almost horrific. Requesting recall flyover. Trolling stem Reload. Fresh 
Okay, I'm kind of just quiet right now because I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Like, I'm going absolutely nuts right now. I'm going nuts right now, but I can't even keep up with it, dude. See what I mean? Like, they're just everywhere. I'm trying my best. All right, these guys are going this way. Are they upstairs? Enemy KIA. Advanced UAV exiting the AO. Settled the score. Subtex out. Reload. We should get back spawn here. Are they going to try to flank, you think? I think they might try to hit this way. That's insane work. Oh, sure. I'll take that. They're on the middle here as well. Okay, I got another VTOL. The SUAV's in. I'm in danger. The guy's above me. The guy's coming this way. Gotta go this way. There we go. It's only a 20, so I'm not in good shape, to be honest. Not great shape, I should say. All right, UAV is going to come in. There was a guy over here. There he is. God, that is unwall bangable. That's insane. That's unwall bangable. I'm just getting unlucky. None of this is wall bangable. We're going to push right through. This guy's going this way. God, they're just sneaking away from all my dang gunfights. No, oh, I don't want your static. Give me this. Change 
Changing max. All right, that's a 28. And MGB. Last minute, too. I'm at 62 kills. I don't know if I can even get... Okay, so is this game going to end? There's 10 seconds left. I got to hit MGB, actually. My team's going to win this game. I mean, that game definitely took a turn from right at the rip. My team was kind of getting mollywopped, and that took a complete 360. Complete 360.